Hi, this is Chris at The Wandering Bull. In today's video, we're gonna talk about making cheap dance bells. We're using cheap bells. They come in a variety of colors. Got red, blue, yellow, the nickel, and gold. Um, they're all plated and good quality bells. I like to make it simple. Um, so what we're doing is we're using some strap leather. I have these pre-punched out. Here's my little template. Lay this guy on this. Take my pen. On the sheep bells, we are one inch. So the slot needs to be one inch. So that's my template. So I'm gonna cut this guy out. So I have this handy dandy little tool that basically will punch a nice slot like these. But if you don't have one, the option is to go to the hole punch. So you're gonna punch the holes and then with a razor knife, I'm gonna connect the dots. Okay, now that I have my dots poked, um, so it just gives me a guide so that bell's gonna line up nicely. I'm gonna just slice down on my line. So with those slots, stick the bell up right. And that little channel, I'm gonna take a piece of leather. This guy's a half inch and it fits nicely inside of the sheep bells. So I'm gonna use the one that I have pre-punched the holes. Line these guys up. And what I'm using is white strap leather. It's good quality, strong. It's not gonna stretch, very durable. Um, and I use the white it's a very neutral color and it will go with anything as far as um, dance clothes go. So now I got that, I take this piece, light it on top. So they're basically trapped in place. Here's some ones that I've already had finished up. We're gonna snip the ends. Take my hole punch. I'm gonna poke a hole on each side. And I do it now, opposed to when I have just the blank, um, because I wanna line the holes up on the piece that I'm stringing through the back to the piece on the front. And I probably set it back, oh, a half inch from the edge. And for a tie, I'm probably 10 inches, 12 inches. Basically, you want to wrap it around your leg, tie it in the back. Um, and with the dance bells, you want them on secure. You don't want them moving around because they're going to move themselves. And once they loosen up, um, they're going to fall off. And you basically don't want that. So I like to tie one knot and then go back in that hole once again. So I loop into that hole twice. A little tight. Gonna leave about that much. 
I'm gonna cut this guy to a point. Go to this side. Tie my knot, go through once, go through again, and pull that guy tight. And then let's cut it to length. So this theoretically is finished sheet bells. Um, we sell the bells separately. We sell the strap leather. This guy is two, two inches wide. And we are about seven and a half inches long. The strap in the center is a half inch wide, so it slides through those the loop on those bells nicely. So here's the red bell finished, tied nicely around, tied in the back. I like to use the heavy leather deerskin lace. If you use something small or thin, it, it's not gonna work. The heavy lace is, is very comfortable um, to tie around your leg. So that's a finished pair, brand new. This yellow pair, I probably have danced for four or five years. The leather's soft and supple. The tie, tie has thinned right out, as you can see. Um, that's why I start with a nice thick tie, because over time it stretches to be very thin. So, um, and your leather will soften up like those. And that's why we work with the heavy strap leather. It has body, um, it's gonna hold the bells in place. Last thing you want is the bells to be across the dance floor. So, hey, thanks for watching. Chris at the Wandering Bull. Um, check out the other videos on wanderingbull.com. Thanks a lot.